Howdy everyone, I'm back at it again. I've got a fun day of fishing planned for today. We're gonna head out on the river and try to chase down some smallies. Before I get my kayak loaded up and drag it down there though, I have some big news to share with you guys. ND Yak Angler merch is now available. That's right, you can get your hands on one of these sweet t-shirts featuring Lego Chewbacca riding a smallmouth bass. By clicking on the link, I'll leave in the video description. So I partnered up with a new clothing company called Achigan to make these. Now, Achigan is actually Ojibwe for bass. Great bunch of guys over there. I did a river float with them earlier this summer. Bunch of diehard Smalley fishermen. So who better for me to partner up with to make some Lego Chewy riding a Smalley t-shirts than them. And I gotta say, they did a fantastic job on the artwork for these. So I've had a lot of people express interest in merch in the past. Now's your chance to get your hands on one of these. Just click on the link in the video description and I guarantee you'll be the coolest kid at the creek. Well, I'm gonna get my kayak loaded up. We'll head out there and see if we can hook into a few smallies today. Off we go on another river adventure. So I'm pretty excited about today because I think I'm gonna try a new variant of one of my favorite lures. What I'm talking about is the itty bitty 60 size whopper plopper. Look at just how small that thing is. I'll toss the 75 size in there too, just for a size comparison. So you can see that 60 is about half the size of the 75. I think that little topwater lure might actually work pretty well out here today though. The smallies have been hitting topwater the past few weeks. They've been hitting it a little bit light though. So I think with a little bit more finesse sized lure, we might have a better chance of hooking into them. Now my one concern is just keeping them pinned with those little tiny treble hooks. I believe those are size six treble hooks, but hopefully that'll get the job done. We'll give it a try today. That's the game plan. We'll paddle around the river, toss around that little baby whopper plopper and hopefully hook into some big old smallies. You know what I think this little plopper is going to be really good for is just tossing it up into those spots where you think you might get a reaction strike and just giving it little, little plops like that, just yanking it about six inches at a time. It's not quite as stable as the 75. It does roll a little bit, but it's not terrible. I'll probably have to cut it off and get the twist out of my line several times throughout the day though. But I did really want to throw that little 60 plopper on my spinning rod just because it's so small. It's fun catching smallies on spinning gear sometimes too. I miss the sound of that drag when I'm fishing with my casting gear. We'll work our way up along this grassy bank. Lots of little bait fish. Oh, I saw something bigger swim off there. Where was he hiding? Underneath there, I think. Darn it, we probably could have caught that one if I would have throwing that lure right on top of them, but that is good to see that there are some tucked right up along the bank like that. There's one. First fish of the day. Not the giant I'm looking for, but hey, it'll get us on the board at least. Quick look at you, we'll short arm him, try to make him look bigger. <laughs> uh, 
All right, we'll go see if we can find that one's mama. Let's go get my plopper cleaned up a little bit. There we go. I want to get that a little bit farther up there. Right in there. Yeah, that looks fishy. Holy, that's a pike. Get in my net before you take my plopper. <laughs> I'm really expecting that. I don't catch a whole lot of pike on this stretch of river. I Careful, but I don't want you to find those hooks again. Oh, he's camera shy. He's all slimy, can't even grab my hooks. <laughs> yeah, I should probably retie my plopper after that happened. Well, I was really hoping I could catch some fish with this little 60 size plopper, but I don't know what is going on with this thing, if it's leaking water or what, but watch that. The thing sinks. So I don't know why it's doing that. I, I'm assuming this one's just defective and it's leaking water or something, but yeah, we can't, we can't fish a sinking topwater lure, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to switch over to the normal 75 size, I think. I'll probably just tie that onto my casting rod here. The line felt a little bit rough there, that first six inches. That's why I got such a long tag coming off of there. All right. See if we can catch a few on that bigger one. There's a good one. That's a big fish. All right, you stay on. Oh yeah. Finally got a quality one. I had to pick through about a half dozen little fish out here today, but that is a nice smallie right there. On the 75 Whopper Plopper. That's the first one of the day. Oh, you know what? There's my ruler. I put it on the wrong side of the kayak when I was getting my gear loaded up. First quality fish of the day is just a hair shy of 18 inches. And that was a nice fight after catching little dinks all morning though. Hopefully we can find a few more like that. Something big that just chased that there. Something really big. Got him. Come on. That was pretty cool. And I did not think that one would go for that plopper again. It's the first time I've seen something 
take two swipes at it today. Although he didn't really take a swipe at it that first time. He did kind of charge it though. Yeah, there's a nice one. Beauty. So I'm working my way back downstream now. We'll see if we can pick up a few more on the way back. I missed several on the way up here, so hopefully now that we're getting into kind of the late afternoon time of day, it's probably about 4.30 right now. Maybe those fish will start hitting a little bit harder. That's a better fish. Mm. <laughs> I think that one tricked me. I thought that was going to be a big one. No, guess I was wrong. Oh, thanks. He shook that one hook. This little fatty. Man, I thought that was going to be at least a three pounder, though. Definitely picking through the little ones today. There's a big one. Oh yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. Oh my gosh, get over here you. <laughs> Crazy smallies. Oh, that's why I love them though. There we go, wow, look at that smallie. Beautiful fish. I might get a quick length on that one. It's probably the biggest one I've caught today. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, but that is just a thick looking fish. Yeah, he's about 17 and a quarter. Yeah, I'll take one of those though. Yeah, especially when most of them I've been catching today have been under 10 inches. <laughs> oh yeah, a fight like that one put up is always fun. I saw the wake from that one from way back. That one came in from out in the middle of the river. Sorry about the noise, but I want to hit my brakes before that fish gets me any closer to that tree there. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. I saw the wake of that fish coming at my lure from about 20 feet away. Here. Is this my 20 inch I was looking for? Might be. Hey, 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 bud. There we go. Let's take a look at that one. Wow, what a beauty. Now nah, it's not gonna be a 20 inch, that's probably about an 18 and a half inch fish. 
Maybe 19. We'll find out. Oh, 19 and a half. Well, that's the big fish of the day. Man, that was an awesome catch. Just watching that wake close in on my lure and smash. Seat. He hooked my bum. Oh, I better drop my anchor. Oh. <laughs> Little troublemaker. Well, I made it back to where I started from. I've still got an hour or two of light though, so I think I'm gonna work downstream a little ways. I've never fished down this way, so. I'll check it out. I'll head downstream a couple of bends. See if we can find anything else willing to bite. Ooh, there was one in there. Not quite where I threw that lure. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Where are you going? Where are you going? Here's my nets. <laughs> I'm gonna drop my anchor here so I stop drifting. fish. Yeah, that's a beauty right there. We'll get a measure on that one. About 18 and three quarters. Yeah, I've never been down here on this part of the river. First molly I've caught down here. Glad I came down and checked it out. All right, you guys, I'm just making my way back upstream to my vehicle now. I think I've had about enough for one day. I'm ready to go grab some dinner and a cold beverage. It's been an awesome day out here though. Caught a whole bunch of nice mollies. Got to spend a beautiful day out here on the river. Still a little bit disappointed that little 60 size whopper plopper failed on me and started taking on water. I don't know what's up with that. Never had that happen with any of the other sizes. Luckily, I had a couple of the 75s in my tackle box. That's my usual go-to size. So I just tied one of those on and that 75 plopper got the job done out here today. Caught a bunch of nice mollies on that. It's always fun catching them on top water. And it's always a good day out here on the river. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.